foraging for something that it needs. And let's say it smells water because deer can actually do that and arrives at a stream and takes a sip of water. There's dopamine release then that puts it on a path to maybe a larger lake or something of that sort, or to be able to go achieve food. So when we are on the right path and we hit a milestone, dopamine is released and it tends to tighten our focus more for that activity. So the dopamine, this is why drugs of abuse and why alcoholism and some you know, process addictions, which are behavioral addictions are so dangerous because they, a lot of those drugs of abuse are dopamine. So it becomes this yeah. cyclical loop where there's no other behavior that can evoke the same level of release. Right. In fact, I, I sort of define addiction as a progressive narrowing of the things that bring you pleasure. And I say that because it really is the way that the dopamine system works. Normally the dopamine system is designed to be generic. It's designed to get me to do lots of things, social quality, social interactions, you know, work, exercise, all those things. 